Nestled in the lush foothills of the Barakwa district in southwestern Nigeria lies the small town of Irua. This looks like a typical rural town, but in fact there is an uncommon feat of human endeavor happening here. The Awojobi Clinic Irua, or ACE as it's commonly known, is the brainchild of visionary physician and self-taught inventor Dr. Oluyombo Awojobi. Dr. Awojobi has dedicated his entire career to improving healthcare in Nigeria for the benefit of the citizens of Irua and surrounding rural communities. Dr. Awojobi's unique inventions using local materials and great ingenuity have endeared him to his people. It all started in the 1960s when a pioneer initiative was set up, the Ibarakwa Community Healthcare Service Scheme. This timely project was meant to provide community-based primary healthcare services to rural communities. Since more than 70% of Nigerians live in rural communities with little access to basic services, good healthcare is vital for the people's survival. In 1963, Professor Ogulese was one of the staff at the University of Ibadan Medical School who spearheaded this training initiative. The idea was to send recently qualified medical doctors to rural areas to provide basic healthcare services. That we then decided that this would be a suitable district where we can uh, try our ideas about how to integrate rural medicine into the first class system of the University College Hospital. In April 1980, 17 years after the scheme started, Dr. Awojabi was posted to Ibarapa District Hospital in Irua for a one month training internship. After graduating from medical school, Awojabi returned to Irua to work as a surgeon in the government hospital. A few years later, in 1986, Awojobi left the hospital to realize his dream by setting up his own clinic with savings. He got overwhelming support from the local community. <laughs> Papa Obisheson, one of the respected elders of Irua, gave Dr. Awojobi an interest-free loan to set up his clinic. The young man's vigor and dedication to his patients had made a lasting impression. When he was in government service, the type of work he did, I have never seen a doctor who is a Nigerian perform as well as he did. If he was eating and he was told that the patient is waiting, he would leave his food and attend to that patient. As I see it, if I had money then, I would have set him up. But dedication aside, Dr. Awojabi faced enormous challenges. The most serious was the lack of regular electricity. Oh, Nepa has come again. Okay, don't worry. Could somebody please put on our uh, inverter? Thank you very much. The innovative doctor worked with his staff to develop a homemade inverter with car batteries, which supplies the clinic with electricity during power cuts. With the inverter, there is no problem operating, whether during the daytime, where you have to use equipment, or in the nighttime, where you have to put on artificial lighting. The inverter ensures that ACE is functional at all times without having to invest in and run a costly generator. He faced a lot of problems when he first got here. Inadequacy of power, he has conquered it. Inadequacy of water supply, he conquered it. 
and it's still conquering it, we, still, we are still having the same problem because the government is not doing its duty in this area. Another big challenge that doctor faced in running an efficient and clean clinic was ensuring regular water supply. Again, the inventor worked with his staff to sink six deep wells to meet the needs of the clinic during the dry season. Throughout the rainy season, the rainwater is collected under roofs and channeled through concrete gutters into concrete reservoirs. Dr. Awojabi got the community to support the construction of an earth dam across a nearby stream to provide additional water for the clinic. Because of these environmentally friendly measures, the clinic is completely self-sufficient in water supply, ensuring basic hospital services. And the list of inventions continues. That is a concrete mixer we fabricated. And you see it's so portable. And this thing can mix a hundred bags of cement a day. Dr. Wojabi's clinic won an award from the Natural Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure for their water distiller. Untreated water is distilled by this homemade distiller. A bottle of this normal saline on the open market costs 250 naira. But for us, it costs only 20 naira. We produce uh, this normal saline on a daily basis and uh, the distiller we have fabricated, which I'm going to show presently, distills 10 liters of fluid in an hour. So in an eight hour working period, we'll be producing about 80 liters, and that is 160 bottles. Now, this is an agricultural environment. The people here, 90% of the people are farmers, and they grow maize and cassava like most other farmers in the southern part of the country. Now, this is a distiller in action. It distills the water with which we make the normal saline and other infusions in this hospital. Now, we started off with electricity, but when it became impossible, we changed over to diesel. And when diesel again became impossible to, to purchase and not available, now we now went to coal. And then suddenly we realized that the maize cup is just as good as any of these combustible materials I've mentioned. And this is the maize cup furnace. And, and the thing is burning. It costs us very little. The farmers are in fact happy that we are able to uh, offload the maize cups from their farm. It's constituting a nuisance. And what is a nuisance in the city is a source of fuel for us in this hospital. We not only use the maize cups for, the, for distilling water, we also use it for the autoclave. Because all the instruments we have to use in surgery must be sterile. And this autoclave, which I fabricated in 1985, is also powered by the maize, uh, maize cup. You could feel that it is so hot that I'm only trying to stay here to conduct the interview. It's really very, very hot. Another innovation is Dr. Awojabi's hematocrit centrifuge, which helps compact the red blood cells in a blood sample in order to determine the percentage of blood that consists of cells. The hematocrit centrifuge is an equipment for measuring the amount of blood in a patient. This amount of blood is technically called packed cell volume or hematocrit. Now it is calculated that this hematocrit centrifuge, as it is working, revolves at the rate of 5,400 revolutions per minute. This is 1,800 revolutions more than is required. So that in three to five minutes, I could determine the blood level of a patient. Dr. Awojabe's innovative and hands-on approach to providing practical and affordable healthcare has inspired and empowered other doctors. In the neighboring community of Ibora, 
the largest town in the Barapa district. Dr. Awujobi worked with Dr. Tijani to set up a similar hematocrit centrifuge. Dr. Awujobi made it for a clinic. We wanted to buy the, uh, the one that they are selling in the market. It was 20 times the price he opted to do the one for us. We got it, it's very functional. Easy to maintain. One of Dr. Awojabi's most important innovations is the locally made operating table. In 1986, when I had to leave the district hospital to set up my own practice, as a surgeon, I needed a standard operating table, like the imported table. The imported table, although made of cast iron, at that time in 1986, was costing 75,000 naira. Now, the essence of fabricating all these pieces of equipment at fractions of the cost of the imported uh, equipment is to be able to provide surgical service to the rural populace at fees that they could afford. For instance, I can raise it up using the jack of a motor car in this fashion. This one shows us that it is still in the woman, but to now prove it in the uterus is the next uh, thing we want to find out. Of course, Awojabi's soulmate at Tinuke has been the wind beneath his wings. Atunuke was a radiographer when they met in 1977. They soon got married, and today she manages ACE's X ray department. It takes a lot of God to work in this kind of place. <laughs> no electricity, having to provide all these things, having to make it work. It's a lot of challenge. And I've been able to face these challenges. You know, I think at this stage, I must say, I feel fulfilled and uh, inspired also to work along. And more so, the people are very appreciative. Mr. Matthew Adekoju assists Mrs. Awojobi in the X-ray department and supervises the junior staff. Wahid Oyesimi is a dependable nurse who holds forth in the clinic whenever the doctor is not around. Amos Olagbenro is the record officer. He compiles the clinic's monthly statistics. Amos also doubles as an electrician and painter. When Benga Shekone is not performing the job of a mechanic, he's busy doing plumbing work. He's equally competent handling electrical materials. Ijebu, as he is popularly called, contributed his welding skills to the fabrication of the bicycle centrifuge and Keke Rua, an improvised ambulance, which is in effect a modified tricycle. When Dr. Awojobi resigned from the Erua District Hospital in 1986, Adela Yeojo followed his boss into private practice. He's used to multitasking, working as a driver, a plumber, and a purchasing officer in the hospital. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. At the Awojobi Clinic, an open accounting system is run. There is an open salary scheme, and on the last Saturday of the month, the staff are informed of the month's financial returns and decide what to do with profits or losses. 790 plus 276090. Dr. Awojobi's remarkable and humane approach towards his patients and the community has endeared him to the people of Irua. Mrs. Deborah Aruoshebe is one of Awojobi's grateful patients. There is nowhere we have not taken this eye. After it was operated in Ijebu Ibo and also at UCH, I went to several native doctors. I cannot count the native doctors I have seen. The goats, the chicken and clothes. Yet, there was no difference. They would do their work, it would heal, and then it would grow big again. But when I came to Dr. Awojobi's clinic, 
That's where the eye came down and healed. Because of his love and care for the people of Irua, he received a gift of 25 hectares of land in appreciation of Dr. Awojabi's contributions to sustainable health care. On behalf of uh, a little of Irua and Irua community, I give you this land, 25 acres, for use to, for your hospital and every any development you want to use for. How Jobi is more than an indigenous, like I've told you. He has contributed immensely to the health development of this land. He relates very well to the royal stool and the kingdom of Rua. So he deserves to be given that chief tansi title of Bashigun, which we have actually decided and given to him. Dr. Wojabi's former teacher and mentor, Professor Ajayi, is proud of his students' strength of character and innovativeness. I was very close to Yombo. I knew his thoughts about many things. I knew his uh, 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 drive to, to change things, to do things differently, to say what is the, the purpose of what I'm doing. And if the purpose is to benefit the greatest number, how can I better do it? I'm inspired by my teachers, all of them in Ibadan. They were trained abroad, but they showed that it was possible in this country. And I felt that uh, they could train their kind solely in this country. In recognition of Dr. Awojabi's inspirational efforts, the British High Commission in Nigeria donated a solar-powered freezer to the clinic. Professor Ogunles' unique community healthcare service scheme is a wonderful example of how sending medical students to rural communities can lead to sustainable development. The fact that I will be today runs as good a hospital in the world as you would find anywhere else. It is evidence that uh, uh, Ibadan was fortunate that we didn't just go there to preach preventive medicine alone, to the neglect of urgent problems that needed attention on the spot. Dr. Awojabi's commitment to providing medical services in harmony with a difficult and impoverished landscape is a lifetime challenge and achievement. So, what is it that inspires Dr. Awojabi to relentlessly conquer difficulties and create ingenious inventions? We have all the resources, both human and material, to make our country and our continent great. What it requires is that we should be properly trained, we should persevere, and we should be truthful to ourselves, even to a fault. With time, we will overcome all our challenges, we will overcome all our problems. But we should never assume that it will be smooth sailing all the time. He told us his philosophy by quoting 15th century Italian Niccolo Machiavelli, the father of modern political theory. My favorite saying, unless I forget, is the, is the saying of uh, Niccolo Machiavelli, who lived in the 15th century, the Italian philosopher, who said, there is nothing more difficult to handle, nor more doubtful of success than to initiate a new order of things. Because the reformer has enemies in all those who profit by the old order and only lukewarm uh, defenders in all those who will profit by the new order. This lukewarmness arises from the fact that people are incredulous. They do not believe in anything until they have had actual experience of it. So that the reformer in changing things has to run the gauntlet between those who profit by the old order and those who will profit by the new order. So between them, he runs a great danger. But as we have shown, in the end, uh, truth will prevail. And uh, whatever you set out to do, 
you do it with clean mind, with truth all the time, uh, the goal will be reached. Dr. Oluyombo Awojobi is an African hero, and his inspirational, professional, and human qualities are living proof that Africa's development challenges can be overcome with ingenuity, hard work, and a heart for the people.